Speech therapy does not work for most people. For most people, speech therapy is an epic fucking fail. 90% of the clients that I've worked with that I've helped overcome stuttering have had speech therapy in the past and it's done shit all. Sometimes, like, I want, I, I want to be honest, sometimes there's good therapists, but most of them aren't. Most of them have really good in really good intentions. Most of them have a really, really kind heart. Most of them care a lot, but most, most of them drink from the same well. They drink from the same well. They, they learn the same shit that is outdated and never fucking works. And it doesn't actually address the real root issue of why you're stuttering. And the reason why I know this is because I've been to speech therapy, didn't work. I've like 90% of my clients have gone to speech therapy, didn't work. And very often speech therapists reach out to me because some issue they're having with their, with, with their, with their clients, they can't seem to get them to a nice spot. The, the clients are stuck in their head and they can't get them out. And they come, they come to me and I, and I always say, yes, I'll talk to you because I just love to help people. And always, 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 always the speech therapy, the speech therapist is doing one of these four things, at least one of these four things. These four mistakes speech therapists are making, um, usually every speech therapist is doing it. So this is a video for speech therapists, but not just speech therapists. This is a video for a person who stutters, who wants to learn the truth about stuttering and how to really overcome it. So the very, very first, um, most common, most common thing speech therapy does that fucks up their clients is they try to track their fluency and based upon how fluent the client's being means they're making progress. And this is not going to work for so many reasons. And I can just say so like one, the more you think about stuttering, the more you're going to stutter Two, the more you try not to stutter, the more you're going to stutter three, like I can name them all, but I can name all the, all the reasons why that's so, so bad, but just, I feel like you already know them because I've talked about them so much. If you're trying to track your fluency as a measure of progress in, in overcoming stuttering, you're just going to be thinking about stuttering the whole time. And you, anytime you push yourself, anytime you face a fear, you, you are going to stutter more. You stutter more when you face fear. And here's the fucking kicker is you need to face more fear in order to overcome stuttering. If you really want to overcome stuttering, you need to face more fear. So this means you need to stutter more. But if you're facing fear and you're stutter and you're stuttering more, and then you play a game in your head and say, this is means I'm failing because I stuttered more. You're not going to grow. We need to embrace the stutter more and say, let's make this bitch come out. Let's bring out the stutter more. And let's focus on the actions because once you focus on the actions, you're not thinking about your stutter. You allow yourself to stutter more without saying I'm failing and you actually grow because you're desensitizing yourself to that fear. That's the very first common mistake. The second common mistake um, is very, very, very similar and it's rewarding fluency. So it's not just that they track it, but it's when the clients are fluent. Yes, this is amazing. And this is very, very, very hurtful when a client is, is especially young. Because if someone's like five years old, six years old, 10 years old, and they see that they get the most love 
when they're fluent, they connect. When they stutter, they won't be able to feel love. They won't be able to feel um, appreciation and admiration and respect. And that's very harmful, very harmful to a, a child and, 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 at, and an adult when they grow up to have this in their brain. We, we want to be able to feel that we can stutter and still be worthy of love. It doesn't matter how much we stutter, the love we can receive and give is the same. And once we feel that, we're fucking free. All right. Third very, very common mistake speech therapists make is reading out loud. Reading out loud in order to practice saying words fluently. You don't need to practice saying words fluently. You already know how to do that. And to even have the fucking exercise of you need to do this in order to get in the habit of saying words fluently is you're just playing a, the, 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 the wrong game. You're playing the game to get more in your head about speaking. We need to stop fucking thinking about speaking. That's the last thing we need to, to think, to think about. We need to start feeling how can we lose this fear? How can we lose this, ang this anxiety of speaking, of fucking up, of stuttering? How can we lose that fear? How, how, how can we feel emotionally safe when we express ourselves? How can we feel like we have all the time in the world to express ourselves? But if you're playing the game of saying words fluently, you're not, there's no way you, you can also work on the real shit at the same time. You're only going to get more in your head. You're going to get more, more frustrated when you actually go out and speak because you're going to say, fuck, I was just so fluent in a room by myself reading out loud because of course you were. There was no external stress or pressure or fear of being judged. And then you stutter when you're out and you stutter when you're out in public, stutter when you're out in public and you say, oh, fuck, what's wrong with me? It's, it's so, it's so easy. And you just get locked in your head more. It just doesn't work. All right. And the fourth and final thing I want to cover in this video is speech techniques. When a therapist is giving you speech techniques to like learn how to speak without stuttering what you're the, re the relationship you're building with your stutter is one that you're saying i can't face this i can't face my stutter my stutter is too embarrassing there's too much shame there's too much pain and suffering connected to my stutter i must avoid it so your whole root in speaking is how can I avoid stu how can I avoid stuttering? Which what makes you think about it more? Which makes you a more mechanical speaker? Which makes you lose your spontaneousness? Which which makes you lose your personality when you're speaking? And I want to tell you a fucking truth right now: the 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 pain of stuttering is not in the stutter itself. It's in the fact that you lose your you lose your personality. It's the fact that you lose your sense of belonging. It's that you lose your self esteem. That's the pain. And trying to avoid a, a version of yourself is not gaining you a stronger sense of belonging is not making your self esteem grow. It's not allowing your true personality to come out when you're avoiding something so the yes of course you can learn how to speak easier and make speaking more enjoyable and that's what i do with my clients but it's not to avoid the stutter it's to allow your true personality to come out with ease and flow that's the intention behind it it's not to how can i avoid this stutter I want to see you stutter and I want to see you stutter freely. That's what I want to see. And that's what the goal should be. All right. That's how I've helped so many people overcome stuttering. That's how I've overcome stuttering. 
And I don't know if you know this right now, but right now I'm hosting a six week intensive helping people overcome stuttering. Only 15 people I'm work I'm working with right now. So I don't know when you're seeing this vid this video, but there may be some spots left inside of the intensive. If you want the if you want to if you want the details and grab one of the last spots left, we start on February 19th is when the six week in six week intensive starts. If you want to grab one of the spots left, then DM me the word stutter on Instagram or comment the word stutter down below and I'll send you the details and see if you would be a good fit. All right. I love you. And I'll see you soon.